Hi students. Um, last week I made a video for the YouTube channel that is talking about the three different pronunciations of the ED suffix. And I wanted to follow that video with a short explanation of different ways that we can use the ED. This might feel like an easier concept, but at the same time, as you will see through this video, it's a lot more difficult and more complicated than just past tense for ED. So let's jump right in. Um, as always, make sure to leave comments below the video, questions that you had, sentence examples that you wanted to write out, and I will try to respond back to your questions or your sentences as soon as I can. So I have written here that suffix ed is something very, very easy. It's one of the first pieces that we really start to learn about in English grammar. However, at the same time, it's, it's a very complicated um, layer of usage that we will see. So of course, the first way that we always see the ed is used as the past tense for a regular verb. Remember that irregular verb will change like go, went, gone. Regular verb will always take ed. Um, for example, we watched a movie last night. Watch, watched, watched. She called me yesterday, last week, last month, she called me. I annoyed my husband. Definitely the easiest way to use the ed and the most common way. However, many times in class, a student will see a word with ed and she will ask me or he will ask me, is this sentence a past tense? Because I see ed. And sometimes the answer is no, because ed can also have three other usages that we are going to talk about through the rest of this video. So of course, the past tense. That's our first usage of the ed. ed can also be the third verb, participle, adjective. So again, if we go back and we think about this verb, we watched a movie last night. Watch is definitely the verb. This is an active sentence. We, the subject, action, watched, watched what, movie, object. When we come to using this as the adjective, we are thinking about again that third verb. So watch, watched, watched. We see the FIFA World Cup was the most watched sporting event in 2018. Definitely here, watch is not the main verb of the sentence. The main verb of the sentence is was. For example, the FIFA World Cup was interesting. The FIFA World Cup was boring. Um, sorry, don't argue about football. I won't argue about football with you. The FIFA World Cup was on TV yesterday. Was is the main verb of the sentence. This phrase the most watched sporting event in 2018 is functioning like an adjective phrase to describe FIFA World Cup. Most watched is the adjective to describe the event. Most watched, which type of event, sporting event, how many people, who watched it, it was the most watched. This is using the ED as an adjective. Um, another example with print, printed, printed, the printed information was very interesting. Which information? The printed information, adjective to describe the information, as opposed to the spoken information, the online information, the false information, the true information, the printed information. So. ED can be past tense. Most of the time we see ED, past tense. ED can also be adjective. Sometimes ED can be added to a noun to make an adjective. Again, this is similar to the second, the participle adjective, but the participle adjective, we are using the verb to make an adjective. In this example, we're using a noun, adding ED, to make an adjective. 
Usually this means that something is affected by, possessing, wearing. For example, a left-handed woman. The word hand, noun, adding the ed, which hand, a left-handed woman. A talented singer. The word talent, noun, she has talent. This is a thing, a noun. A talented singer. The bearded man. Again, beard, noun, this is a thing worn by someone. The bearded man. <sighs> the last way that we see the ed is, of course, in the passive. Now, this is a type of verb, so it's not too much different from number one. However, this is not past tense always because we could make a passive with a future. We could make a passive with a past. We could make a passive with the present. The movie was watched by one million people. Here the verb was, be, using the ed to make the passive. Um, I could change it to present tense. The movie is being watched. Right now, the movie is being watched by one million people. I can change it to the future. Next year, the movie will be watched by one million people. Different from this number one, where we are talking about regular verb in the past, here we are talking about still a regular verb being made into passive, but this could be present, this could be past, this could be future. So at this point, I know that you're feeling a little bit, um, maybe you would like to cry. Maybe you are unhappy that you have stuck with this video for the last eight minutes and you really wish that you had turned off the video as soon as I told you we were going to be talking about ED. Um, your head is spinning and you are feeling a little bit unhappy with me at this moment. And, and then you have this idea of why. Why do we need to have this conversation about the four different ways that you could see ED? Do I expect you to memorize these four different ways? No. Out in the city, you're hearing somebody speak, you're reading something. Are you going to analyze, oh, is ED the adjective? Is ED the past tense? Is ED the passive? Absolutely not. However, in a test situation, you might need to be able to recognize the different types, that there are different types of ED. But the most important thing is that you can see ED in different contexts, in different areas, and you don't feel frustrated by thinking that ED must always be simple past. ED is only simple past. Just having the idea put in the back of your brain that ED can be more than past tense will help you to feel more comfortable when you come across it in reading, in um, university level work, on an acuplacer or a TOEFL style of examination. Okay, so I do have a short quiz for you. I would absolutely love to see some answers for you in the comments underneath of the video. You don't have to answer for all of these verbs, but I want to read to you a short passage and try to identify which ED is the verb of a sentence, which ED looks more like an adjective of a sentence. Remember that that adjective would be connected to describing some noun next to it. And do you think that some of the ED could be both a passive or an adjective? For example, a sentence like, she was tired. She felt tired. It looks like a passive, she was tired. But if you can take out the was and you can put the word feel, it's not a passive, it's an adjective. She feels tired, she felt tired. Um, okay, let's jump into this short paragraph and let's see how you feel at the end. 
uh, the annoyed student was frustrated about the crazy grammar of English. He practiced and practiced, but still felt exhausted and tired. The talented teacher tried to comfort the overwhelmed student, and the student was encouraged by the teacher's words. How many EDs? We have annoyed, frustrated, practiced, exhausted, tired, talented, overwhelmed, and encouraged. We have eight EDs. Give me some ideas down in the comments. What do you think? Which ED is definitely a verb in the sentence? Which ED is definitely an adjective? And which one are you not sure about? Absolutely okay to feel unsure about something. As always, um, like the video if you enjoyed it, share on social media or um, through Facebook with your friends, classmates, and leave me some comments if you have any questions. Bye students.